Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be running over a strategy that I didn't know would work, you guys didn't know would work, and you said, of, have a look, see if it will work, and that is the All Goblin strategy. Now, I did try this when my goblins were a low level, but as you can see, they are now level 3, which is absolutely fantastic, and it does make them a, long, a lot stronger, and as you can see, my elixir balls are absolutely splurging, and my gold is about to fall out because we have got 830,000 gold and 615,000 elixir, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to show you my last couple of raids. You can see my defense log here. Not too bad. We're not losing too much loot, to be totally honest. But this is where it matters. Are you ready to see the attack log? Boom! Oh, that was a fail. Boom! There we go. Look at that. We may have lost the raids, but in the last two raids, we got a 230,000 gold and 168,000 gold. Let's watch these two. Even though we failed uh, in spirit, we, we definitely won. So, what am I looking for here? Obviously, I'm looking for bases with crazy amount of loot. Look at the loot in the top left corner of this screen. And uh, we're also looking for ones that are easy to get to. These ones are all in the collectors. And thankfully, he's put his best collectors all on the outside, which is really cool. And the other ones are only one in. And they're not even protected by that uh, wizard there. So, let's start this off. We spawn up our goblins, just spawning a couple in to make sure there's no bombs. Then we spawn another load in to go for the collectors. Uh, and this is going for the gold on the left. We then start spawning up on the right to take the elixir storages. Uh, collectors even on the right and we take those down nice and e easily there is a wizard defending the one on the right which is a little bit dangerous uh, so we'd start breaking through the wall to get into the rest of the area where is there lots of gold storage and there is elixir on the other side I did throw a lightning spell on that mortar and I nearly nearly took it down but it came back with about like a fifth health or something which is insane so again We've taken all the elixir pumps on the right hand side, we're then taking more elixir pumps on the right hand side, and all we really have left are these two collectors down the bottom here, which are going to be hard to get to because we do have to break through a wall. Uh, so I spawn it in a few goblins, I try and spawn them as far away as possible, but they want to all go there. So we start breaking them in, we break down that wall, they do get in, uh, sadly that whole bunch pretty much died because of the mortar, but we were able to get in and we are able to take down that gold collector and take a hell of a lot of loot. That is so much loot that we've been able to take from this guy. And the rest of his elixir is sat over there in that final pump, which we are pushing forward to by spawning in loads and loads of goblins. Uh, as you can see, they are getting hit by the wizard, which is a shame, uh, but we are able to take down a little, little bit of that elixir storage right there. We run away with 230,000 and 140, 154,000 elixir even. Wow, so many numbers to read. It's so hard to read them. So, uh, while we carry on doing this, let's go watch my other raid, which wasn't quite as impressive, but it still was very, very good. Again, using only 120 goblins. This guy here had all of his elixir on the outside here, uh, and his gold was only a one break-in and uh, one break-in down here. So let's see how this went. There was a lot more gold to be had on this one, which is why on the live raid we're going to be doing, we're going to be bringing some wall breakers for us to break down these walls and hopefully, hopefully get us some more loot. Anyway... We spawn in our goblins. I spawn them in in uh, kind of triplets. They come in like that. Uh, just so that when the wizard hits them, it doesn't kill them all. And they do start going in and destroying stuff. We then spawn in some more goblins to try and break down the walls on the left-hand side. And then we do a kind of split. So uh, the wizards don't know who to go for. Some of them can take the loot. Some of them will die. They are suicidal, these guys. But as you can see, we have dropped his elixir collectors. And uh, his gold mines are going down as well, which is really cool. So the only other region I can really attack is up here. So I break down the wall, throw in a ton of goblins, and they are able to take all that lovely loot for me. They do quite try and push on to take down that other gold mine, but sadly we are unable to do it, and we just struggle to get that. So are our is our army camps full? Not yet. We are on 95 of 120. Let's spawn in some more goblins here. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. And by the time that we've watched the next raid, we should be ready to go. So this here was one that I actually won. Now, I did try and win this one uh, because I don't want to drop out of my league at the moment because I do like this league, uh, Silver 2 for loot. And this was a very easy one for not much loot. 
Uh, actually, no, not bad amount of loot. This is this is good, I guess. Any, anything over 50k is looks that good. Anything over 100k is excellent. But the ease to get this loot was really, really nice. And I just kind of spawn my goblins everywhere. They start tearing up the base. They take out all of the loot. Uh, and once they do that, obviously, the goblins go for defenses, for buildings, for town halls. And they are super, super strong. I'm not even kidding. I swear the goblins are way more powerful than barbarians when it comes to attacking. I don't know if it's just because they're so quick. Uh, but they seem to do absolute jobs. Anyway, we are now waiting. I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was thinking about where to spawn them. I spawn them on the gold storage. We drop that. Then they run over to the other storages. As you can see, all the loot has pretty much gone. So I'm now just picking off the final pieces so that then my goblins will go and get that 50%. So you throw some more in for that final collector, uh, which drops now. And then we've just got two mines left. So I throw in another little army of goblins that run forward, get hit by a... Uh, uh, mortar and then I start spawning them further back and kind of everywhere because then they will go for whatever is closest for them and as you can see they've scattered around around 45 percent 49 percent only one more percent needed we're so close to taking out that cannon and there we go we got the 52 percent on the left and I ended it there which is really good again lots of loot and we won that one which is even better so our collectors our collectors our camps are now full and we are able to go out and raid. So let us go head out and raid and see if we can find something that would get us quite a lot of loot. Now we're looking for anything over anything over 60k to be honest. But in really if we can find something with over 100k we would be absolutely laughing. But we can't have something that has too much because I will fill up my gold and elixir storage. Well I'm on my gold storage. If I could fill up my elixir storage it'd have to be the raid of a century. I'm not even kidding. Uh, so that's quite tempting, but I think we can find something either a little bit easier to take out or with a little bit more loot. You want to find something like that base that we just went through, that once you get in, everything is there. There's no more walls to break it. Oh, man, that would be nice. I don't know how much are in those collectors, but we're going to go for it because it doesn't look like there's any in the storages. So we're going to go for this one. Uh, we're just going to spawn out a couple of goblins. I don't know if there's going to be any bombs, which there's not. So let's spawn out a line of goblins to take out those collectors. He has got uh, Clan Castle troops. He's got a few giants that we will take out as soon as they stand still. Because I do have a lightning spell with me. Let's go! Destroy them with the lightning spell, Jesus! I didn't really... Actually, he didn't do much at all. Jesus. Uh, so we're going to spawn them up on this side instead. Let's spawn in some wall breakers just to distract some buildings. Uh, and then we'll throw in the rest of our goblins. Getting all of that loot... We are nearly full up of gold, though. This is going really well. And as the giants have been distracted, we're going to try and take those out while we're behind them. Oh, we just we were able to take a few of them out. But this one's quite hard. He has got a lot of defenses. And I don't know if all the loot's in the collectors, uh, but a lot of it obviously is. Let's take out these final ones. And hopefully... Oh, come on, take out that final gold collector. That mine. There we go. That mine's been taken down. Take down these, take down these. Uh, there's actually a little bit of elixir left. I'm wondering where. There might be some actually down here. We should probably take this out. So I'm going to throw in my wall breakers. Oh, luckily I did because I was going to throw in all of my goblins at once. But we didn't. And we'll take out this final bit of loot. And we will run home happy with a lot of loot. We may have lost, but we've pretty much filled up our gold storage which is insane so as i said these are amazing raids to get a lot of loot we can now go around and upgrade our walls because that is what we are on at the moment upgrading those walls is the absolute key to success i think i don't, I don't think it is it, i mean it's good it's good to upgrade your walls but it's not too vital but when you have money to spend like this right now why not upgrade those walls so let's start upgrading we want to get them all to this kind of uh, like black wool, like gray black wool. So let's start doing that. Get the center done, and then we can start doing big pieces and hopefully turning them gold, which is going to be absolutely sweet. Oh no, why did I put that there? That should go up there. Collect, do those rows. Luckily, I have one builder free to do all of this because otherwise we'd be in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Where did this? Where did this wall come from? Oh, there it is, over in the corner. Uh, all right, let's go through and upgrade these. The thing is, at the moment, when uh, obviously I've got five builders, which is insane. Guys, definitely get the builders. Uh, but a time like this, I don't have anything else really to upgrade or anything else to buy. So walls are vital, and they do make a huge, huge difference. Number one, when people search for bases, if they see something with higher level walls or walls that they've never seen before, they are very likely not to attack you. 
Uh, I know from when I was a lot lower level, as soon as I saw high level wolves, I was like, you know what? It's probably not worth me even risking it. And especially from watching Charlotte raid, uh, and my brother raid as well, who are both kind of lower levels, they as well, as soon as they see high level wolves, they're like, nah, we're not gonna go for that. There's no point, we'll lose. So, do think of wolves as a very good investment. They do cost a lot. As you can see, we've spent half of my money on wolves, which is sincerely depressing, but it's gonna be worth it, is what I keep telling myself. All right, so we've done those. Should we see if we can do this whole outer stretch? Oh, we can. Oh my God, should we do this whole outer stretch gold? Are you ready to do this? Boom, there we go. Golden walls on that side, baby. And now we can also use some of this elixir to research a brand new level of the lightning spell. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do smash the like button down below and comment as well. What is your favorite attack strategy for looting down at this level? Don't forget, though, to hit that like button for me, all you ninja viewers out there. And until the next episode, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.